I know we're getting ready for Easter, huh? We're getting ready for a great weekend ahead. And you must welcome with time reading some three minutes after seven. Good evening, good evening, good evening. My name is Bola Ray, right here on your radio on Star 103.5 FM. You know, it is said that each person is an enigma. You are a puzzle not only to yourself, but also to everyone else. And the great mystery of our time is how we penetrate this puzzle. Tonight, we have a great man in our studios. The man who has transcended the Guinean political landscape and has become a known thought leader with a left eye for analyzing matters of national concern. He spent his childhood in Accra and Boko, moving to Nigeria with his parents after the overthrow of the Liman administration in 1981. Attended Ghana Secondary School in Tamale, and then he moved to Nigeria, Bariwa College in Zaria. Later, studied accounting at the London School of Accountancy and a PhD from the Atlantic International University, American Distance Learning University. Well, he's got into politics and he says, Bola, I'm doing well. In the presidential primaries of the People's National Convention, PNC, for the 2016 general election, my guest lost to Edward Mahama, whom he had beaten to become presidential candidate in 2012. Citing anomalies and cheating, he left the party to form a new party, the All People's Congress, APC, in 2016. The Electoral Commission of Ghana handed the party a provisional certificate after he met the requirements and has since been granted a final certificate. Today, he's known for his entrepreneurial spirit, political wit, and zest for life. He owns over 25 luxurious cars. And you tell us more about that. None other than Dr. Hassan Ayariga, founder of the All People's Congress, and he's our special guest on the award-winning show, Star Charts. Doc, good evening and welcome. Good evening, Doc. Uh, uh, Bola, oh, how are you doing? Soon to be doctor, don't worry, yeah, it's yeah, fine. Yeah, you can yeah, call yeah, me doctor. Yes, yeah, so we'll give it to you. <laughs> good you evening. And you deserve it. You deserve yes, it. Yes, good evening it. and welcome, Dr. Hassan Ayariga. Thank you, Bola Ray. Pleasure to have you in your studios on Star 103.5 <laughs> FM. Star Chat is proudly brought to you by MTN Everywhere You Go. Haptel is everything you. Coa Plus Mixture for your general well-being and GCB Bank, your bank for life. We're streaming live. We're live on uh, Ultimate FM in Kumasi. Also in Takradi, you're listening to us on Empire FM and around the world on starfm.com.gh. So most welcome once again. Thank you. You realize that it's not empty and that is everywhere you go. Hmm. APC. APC. Uh, oh, every, so that's your slo slogan as well? No, no, it's not a slogan. But everywhere you go, you see the billboard of APC. Oh, I've not seen your billboards in town. All, over, all, all over, over Ghana. Everywhere. Then you don't look. You're not in town. No, I'm in town. No, Bola. I've, I've seen, Bola, I've seen Bola, no, Bola, no. Bola, look, if you get out of here. Yes, where? All the, all the electric poles. Oh, those, are, those, those are not billboards. Those no. are medians. Those are Come on, just right there. Ev uh, everywhere you go, you see them. The medians. Yes, you see them. Really? But I don't see one on our stretch. I don't see one going to 37, to Tetequashi. I see that of the... They're other all people. over. Oh, they're all over. All over. Ask your boys. They'll tell you. Everywhere, 37, Rose, Tetequashi. Uh, no, I see, your post, I see your posters. Posters those are, are no, different. Those from. are not posters. Those are banners. Banners? Yes, they are banners. They are three, three so by... So they're not, they not billboards? They're three by five feet. The billboards are there. They are big, big ones. How many billboards do you have? We're doing 150. Oh, 150? 150. National? National. The whole country, yeah. Oh, really? Yes. Bola. The third force... Bola. Freedom Jacob Caesar has 1,200. There is no third force. There's no third force? No. Nah. Oh, really? We started the interview. There's no third force no, in Ghana? No, there's no third force in Ghana. APC is not a third force? No party is a third force. Mm. You see, don't confuse yourself with a third position and a third force. <laughs> Bola. But you, you, let are, me, you, no, let you me, are... Let me, let me explain. You. No, you are in the third... Let me explain. You know, no, 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 let me explain. Or you didn't come third. That's the... No, no, I want you to know... The Goom party... I want you to know the difference between a third force and a third position. Sure, tell us. If you get less than one percent mm. and you you become third yeah. in the ranking of ABC, you're not, a, force. You're not a third force. Mm. When we talk about a third but force, but you didn't even get the one percent. No, we all nobody got one percent. 
<laughs> so you are not a third force. Nobody got one percent. So you are not a third force. I am telling you, there is no third force. And you want to be president of Ghana? Ayanda. Yes, and I want to win. How can you move from zero point zero zero whatever to get into fifty? Plus Everybody one? start from zero from zero whatever to get to fifty plus one. And you are sure twenty twenty four. Nobody start there. from hundred to get fifty plus. Or president two thousand. Uh, no, 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 no. I mean, now he he, he picked a platform that had fifty plus. Yes. Don't forget. I think. I so should, why don't you join think, a platform I that think, will give you fifty plus? Let me educate you a bit. No, no, no. This, this why don't you? Culture. No, why don't you? No, join no, no. A I, don't wanna, I don't want to join a corrupt. There, I don't, don't want to join a corrupt party. All the political parties in Ghana are corrupt. What have they done for this country? NDC is corrupt. They're all. MPP is corrupt. Why do you think the high level of corruption? PNC is corrupt. Why do you think that the debt stock is over six hundred twenty billion without anything? Continue asking the question. I will give you the answer. PNC is corrupt. Why do you think that the PNC cannot get had seven seats and now had zero? Let's but go. you also had zero. No, I started with zero. Yes, and you still so got I'm zero. Going. No, zero. No, is I'm, what? Building. I'm building. <laughs> I'm building. Good evening and welcome. You Good evening, we're, we're in the so I, want to, I want to tell you, let me educate you on the Please third do. force. Go ahead. Because people keep confusing mm -hmm. themselves when they talk about the third force. Politically, when we assume a party is third force, that means that party has won election or is about to win an election. It has a magnitude a population mm. a percentage that is winnable no but uh, doc if, if, if so, you become so if you say that race, race, no and nah. you are strong enough to galvanize that support yeah but you don't that have the that. event of yeah you but they are so that is why we are saying that mm -hmm. there is a third force okay but that third force is not a party okay it's, it's, it's an amalgamation or a culmination nah. of what no nah, it's, it's a group of people who have decided not to vote <laughs> <laughs> Let me explain something to you. Wow. You see, in the last election, mm -hmm. we had over 80 million voter register, give or take. And this had 6 million plus. MPP 6, six million. Yes. Mm -hmm. If you put the two together, you 12 have about 12 million. Correct. Then you have a deficit of 6, six. million. Mm -hmm. This six million are Ghanaian citizens who have refused to vote either for the NDC or MPP. The other reason is that these two parties are West party. They don't want to talk about it. They don't but want you to scoop some of it um, for I'm the coming, other smaller parties. I'm coming. Too. The mm -hmm. smaller parties could not get 1%. Correct. They were getting uh, zero, 0101 zero, one, like testing mic. So they didn't get anything like that. So you see, when you look at these, right. the 6 million people who have refused to vote constitute the Death. third force. So they say, look, we are tired of the NDC and we are tired of the MPP. We do not want to vote. So we in the APC, this is our target to get these six, seven million Ghanaians to make a decision, not to sit down and allow the so-called NDs and MPP cool. to give them, to decide a president for them. Mm -hmm. they know, they are, they are you sure you this. can get into that six million or even with five your, million? With, with, with this your platform, mm. this is a very big platform, 10.25. Yeah. Ghanaian listen to our conversation before we end, we'll make a lot of decisions. Wow. Wow. And that is why we are here. We are here to educate and communicate to Ghanaians and tell them the policies mm -hmm. and the programs that we can do better than the NDs and the MPP. So these are platforms we use to get to them. You showed that come December, you're going to beat Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, beat John Dramani Mahama, and you will become the president of Ghana come 2025. I think that they, have, they themselves know that they have no future. Why? Because they've been tested. They've been tried and tested. President Mahama has been president before, and he's coming back. Why do you think President Mahama is coming back? President Mahama is coming back because of the incompetent and mismanagement and corruption of the MDC, MPP. If they had performed, if they had performed, President Mahama did not come back. It's an indication of failure of the MPP. Because President Mahama now has the leverage over the NPP. Oh, really? Yes. You think that as it stands now, as it stand now President it's... Mahama stands tall over the MPP? Of course. I'm being honest with you. Because what are the records of the MPP so far? High inflation, corrupt institutions, huge debt stock, lack of roots that we have borrowed so much and there's nothing to show. Indiscipline, incompetence, prices of food and services and goods in the markets are so high, outrageous. You can name it. 
where, where did they do better? If they had done better, mm. the NDC wouldn't have presented President Mahama for 2024 election. But now, President Mahama is so proud to stand on platform and to ask President Akufadu to tell him or uh, to tell them his achievement. And President Akufadu has admitted that he has failed the years. Well, so, well, what did so he, he say? Goes that? To no, 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 no. He I, goes to, I'm, I'm, when, when did President Akufadu say that? You, yes. Just, where? Just, just hold on. Sure. I'm, I'm, I'm building, building the yes. Good. He goes to Sona, and he tells Ghanaians that Ghana is down. And Ghana will rise again. And the speaker reiterates it and says, yes, Ghana is down, but Ghana will rise again. No president goes to a platform. But isn't that a reality with, with, with the Ukraine, Russian Ukraine war, with COVID Russia, and all Uk of that? Russian yes. Ukraine war did not yes, only affect Ayaga. Ghana. Mm. It affected all other nations. And they are doing better. So why, why Ghana? So you see, and then Palmyra himself gets an opportunity to excel at um, the lecture at uh, UPS. Right, UPS. And then he yeah. comes to dance like a DJ. Oh, and then Vice President Baumia was dancing like a DJ. You go back and watch it. Why? And his body, his body mannerisms or what? Yes, instead of telling Ghanaians... He wasn't Ghanians, dancing. Instead of telling Ghanaians mm -hmm. his achievement, what he can do for Ghana, he tells her that he was a myth and he was not part of the mess. This is an indication that there is a mess and he's exonerating himself from that mess. Or... Good to say, he's betraying his party because he wants to be president. He's telling them that we have failed. But you have failed without me because I was not part of the... He says he, he's not the one in the driver's seat. He <laughs> would do things differently if given the chance. That it is was, not an admittance. Don't forget, of, yes. don't forget, mm -hmm. Bolare. Yes. You are a very current and intelligent journalist. Mm. You've listened to Dr. Baumia when they won power, when he was composing his economic management team, and he mentioned them, Osei what, 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 mm, what, right. what a solid team. Who was leading? He was the chairman of the EMT. So what are you talking East. about? So when the EMT fails, who should we hold responsible? And President Akufado, Shilton Baumia, I don't understand them, comes out to tell us that, look, you know what? Blame me. Don't blame Baumia. Blame me for the woes of God. Because the back to the president. Yes, but that's what so, it is. I want to build something. Mm -hmm. I want to tell you something. I take responsibility of our chaos, our crisis, and I am taking responsibility. Mm -hmm. So I have failed, not Baumia. <laughs> this is a clear indication. You don't need science to, to understand this concept of I have failed, Ghanaians. So forgive me and allow Baumia to lead. He will do better than me. My brother, we are not playing cricket here. We're not playing a game with Ghana. Ghana consists of 32 million citizens who are yearning, willing to get a leader that can lead them, change their lives, and make it a better place. It is not for gamblers or bet little people who now they've turned our country to betting. Really? Ghana yes. is a betting country? Now. Really? How the, so? The MPP has turned Ghana to a gambling state. How? How? Because every corner in this country, all the most of the TV stations are advertising bet, 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 bet. What are they doing? Our future leaders that are supposed to be engineers, doctors, professors, are looking uh, for casters. Are now gamblers. Mm -hmm. And don't forget, Bella, it's an addiction, a very serious addiction, and a bad one. So if you do not have a way to show your kids, your children what to do, and you turn them to gamblers, now you have even admitted that you are going to give them 10% taxes on betting. Our constitution calls betting gambling forbidden. Go and read the constitution. But when you have a government that has no focus, and have no... It's a game of chance. And have no, op I mean, alternatives to change the lives of its citizens. It allow it to flow like water, with no direction. Well, so some, all, the, some, all, some, all, some, all our some also, also argue that, well, it's, it's actually providing or giving them a livelihood, and so for us, it's not a crime. I guess I, I hope not you are illegal. not illegal. I'm building a point here, Doc. So, on the other side, on the flip side, that if they are actually enhancing 
their lifestyle and livelihood, and it's not a crime. Should, Bolo, should, yes. You don't look like somebody who bet. No, I don't bet. I mean, that's for the record. I don't. That's very good. I don't do think you, you. I don't think you want your children to go and bet. Do you bet? No. For what? What am I looking for mm. in that? Mm. I had the opportunity to bring betting in 1996 when I was living in Germany. And my wife looked at me and said, look, you are a Muslim. This is haram. Oh, this so, so, so gambling or betting is haram it's in haram. the Muslim the, community? Yes, yes. But we have betting companies out there in, in, in the suburbs. So, but it doesn't mean that when everybody is doing something is right. Mm. When so majority it's, haram. Of people, it's haram. When majority of people are doing things that not make it right. Or when ignorant people accept something that doesn't make it right. So I am telling you. So you had a chance you to had bring. A chance. I, had, I was the first Ghanaian to bring betting. And I told my wife, said, don't do it. It's, 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 not a, it's not a thing for you. From Germany. Mm. It was called Vet Bureau. Vet Bureau. Vet Bureau. Google. They started betting. Vet Bureau. And they brought but it you here. Declined. I declined. And they brought it here and said Vet Bureau. In Germany, it's called Vet Bureau. Mm. So I had the opportunity. And I, my wife said, don't do it. This is not for you. This is not the kind of money you're looking for. Mm. And then she said... So no regrets not bringing Vet Bureau I to Ghana? I, I think I'm a very happy man. But, uh, we'll, we'll get into that. But I'm you a know, very happy man. It, it's a period so, of Ramadan. Like, like I was yeah. saying, mm -hmm. so Baumia and Akufado clearly have exonerated President Mahama to come back again. The return of President Mahama is as a result of the bad leadership of the MPP. And not only that, that is why you, you see people, okay, appearances of so many so-called independent candidates. It's because Star the Flagstaff House FM. has been turned to a business center. So everybody who now wants to do business say, oh, I want to be a flag bearer. And the easiest way is to go and say, I want to be an independent candidate to do my business. Not because I want to be president. So this year, Market baller, between mm. you and I, you will count more pres independent presidential candidates than political party candidates. And you and you are saying that there are people who are now known as polypreneurs. Yes, they are doing it for business. They are doing for business. Politics for business. Yeah, they, they are not and politicians. Not, and, and not and not a conscience or no, the they are not. The they are not politicians. They will tell you that I'm not a politician. I'm a I'm a leader. I'm a businessman. Wow, they say it themselves. And we're going to see a lot of them this a year. A lot of them this year. You know why? Because. The flag staff has, has been reduced to nothing. It's, no, a, it's a seat of government. Of the seat of you government. Can, you can't say that about the flag staff house that it's been reduced to what? What is the purpose of the flag staff house? Of course, that's a central administrative, you know, and seat. And where is the administrative seat? What that, do we they do? But of course. That our economy is running around. We don't even know where we're going. Hmm? No direction. No direction. You sit with a minister of state and you ask him questions and he doesn't, he can't answer. I think you had an example like that to yourself here. Yeah. Which one? Remind me. I, don't, I think there was this minister who said you asked him, name five, name five what? Yes. Projects. Projects in a And the man could yeah. answer. No, but he was, he was gathering his How thoughts. How can he be gathering? Why? If you know, you know. If you don't know, you don't know. Simple issue. You can't be gathering things. Why? Why? Do you gather things here? Bollery. No. No, don't, don't bring us down. <laughs> Don't because no, he was gathering. No, he wasn't. You were gathering and you were asking the question. Yeah. And he could, you needed time. Mm. You only asked a simple question for him to answer while you get your, you mm. shut yourself out. That's how it looked like for me. But he could not answer. He was rolling around. I'm not going to roll. I'm looking at you and give you answers. So let's continue. Question by question, you get the answer. Don't even vibrate and I'll give you the answer. <laughs> Dr. Hassan Ayarga. Okay, all right, no problem. Well prepared. <laughs> but we are, we are in the Ramadan season. I mean, I know you're a Muslim and all yeah. of that. How has that impacted your life and, and, and how you live your faith? You know, getting closer to God is a sign of reducing your stress and becoming a clean man, uh, an open minded man, somebody who believes in religion. Mm. Giving becomes a norm. You remember that some people are hungry. Because when you fast, it is it's a sign for you to know that there are people who haven't eaten the whole day oh, and okay. cannot afford. Right. So fasting makes you understand the hunger and the difficulties and the challenges others are going through. Mm. So after breaking your fast, you now assume, oh, so if I see a brother who hasn't eaten the whole day, I should be able to support. If I know a family that 
doesn't have something to eat. I should be able to buy two, three, five bags of rice and donate. Oh, you've broken it down very well for me, too. I never knew this. So yes. it's for one to also do an introspection and exactly. you, you, you think about other people yes. and say, look, they are, they are living in mm, abject poverty. poverty. So help. Ah. You understand? Uh -huh. So there's so many advantages of fast, mm. fasting. And it's, it's a cleansing. Cleansing your system, your as, system well. as well. Mm. And giving you a period to meditate. Meditation. You sit and you meditate to your God. You pray to your God. And it's also a period of people coming together and praying. Even the Bible says that when two or three are gathered, yeah, he's there. Now he's there. Yes. So we get to know each other very well mm. and understand. And it's a period where nobody is above anybody. Really? Yes. Nobody's above and you're all this level, same level before God. Because that is where you all go and stand, pray. And nobody knows this is Hassan Erga, mm. this is Bolaroy, mm. this is mm. the vice president. Star nobody cares at that time. FM. Because at that time, we're all seeking the kingdom of God and seeking his blessing. Wow. You understand? Right. So, 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 per your faith, polygamy is accepted, right? Marrying two, three wives yes. is a situation of choice. Even, oh, it's a choice. Even if it's accepted, it's allowed. Is it I, a way of life that you subscribe to? I, I don't. I think that I believe in one man, one woman. My whole family, except my father, who married two, three wives. After my father, nobody in my family married two, three wives. We believe in one man, one wife. It's beautiful to have one wife. Mm. Mm. It is difficult to have four wives. It's difficult. It's challenging to have four wives. Even if you have the money and you can it take care of them. It's not about the money. You can have money to take care of 100 wives. Doesn't mean you should go marry four wives. Mm. What is your relationship with your wife? When you build a very beautiful relationship with your wife and children, mm. you don't need a second wife. wife. You don't even need a girlfriend to talk mm. of a second wife. Right. So in life, first and the most important thing we need to do with our partners is respect. That is what fails in our relationship with women. Mm. First is respect. Number two is trust. You need to trust your wife and your wife needs to trust, trust you. Right. You need to let your wife know who you are and what you do. There are many people who are wealthy, who have so much money, so much. Mm. Their family do not know where they have one cent, it's two gone. cent, mm. or gone. Wow. And that is bad. Because the wife then now feel that I am not part of this man's mm. life. This mm. man is building a life I don't know. So you want to live a very happy life. First of all, respect your wife. Adore your wife. Mm. Be very truthful to your wife and sincere. Okay? And number four, be prayerful. Be prayerful. And wow. the last of it, be hardworking. Wow. These are the values of a family man who can keep a family for a very long time. No matter how bad your wife mm -hmm. is, she will change. She will change. You've been married for how many years? 20, 20 years. Wow. How 20, many children? Five children. Five? Yeah. Wow. Well, first, first child is 19. 19? Yes, the last one is 11. 11. Well, I can see you're, 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 you're a family man. And we'll, we'll come back and we'll talk about it. And that's now, why, you see, yes. the translation of a very good family man yeah. translates to a very good president. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, so if you don't have... Oh, but there are great presidents who are out there. Maybe some. How? how Where is that you, you correlation? You are confused. No, no, no. I oh, just go want back, to go back and ask your no, question no, no, again. I'm not, to... I'm not a censor. Go back. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying that we have presidents who have great families as well, and they, and they are doing well. And, and and there are some who came through. Yes, they they have a family. Maybe they didn't do well, or some didn't have a family, but they did well. But if you cannot, so where's the correlation? If, if you cannot, yes, build. A family yes and manage the family well how can you marry the bigger one because the Ghana is also a family mm. don't forget right your family personal family let me say your wife and children mm. Mm. these are the people you should love to and all our presidents have great families and I'm they've coming. done well I'm coming yes these are the people who you have born with mm. when you love them right they are the people that they are your responsibility and if you cannot take your responsibility, mm. care for them. It means you cannot manage them, a nation. Include them. If you cannot manage five families, how can you manage 30 million Ghanaians? So we shouldn't get to a point where a president is not married. No. You don't subscribe to that. No, no, no. no. If a president is really? not married, if, cannot if be the president, president. No, but if the person is hardworking, are we measuring performance and ability to deliver? If, if you're not married, marriage? you're not even a full man. If you're not married, you're not a full man. Oh, no. Come on. You're not a full family man. 
at no. your age you are not married yeah what are you really what are you tell me but paul in the are you gay or what no it's not gay. Even if you are gay we can send you to the u.s to get married Star in Ghana. FM. <laughs> no but if are you saying that if one is not married one cannot seek political office of course it's not i don't, I don't think or you don't trust that person because to you do are, that you, a good job you are or not what? you are not trustworthy if you're not married, you're not trustworthy. Because if you're not married, yes, no, that's a serious I mean, are, statement yes, that you you're made. You're not trustworthy. No, I, 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 I don't think so. At certain age. At a certain okay, qualify. At it, yes. Mm. At a certain age, if, if you're not married. What you're not, age is that? By forty years, if you're not married, you're not trustworthy. A man or and a, a woman becomes not married at forty, and you want to be president? Yeah, you're not trustworthy. What are you waiting for? Really? I mean, you want to be president at forty? Whose responsibility are you coming to take care of? You can't even carry your own burden, your own responsibility. A responsible man is to produce, marry, take care of a family, and continue, unless you are gay. And if you are gay, you are not qualified to become president in Ghana. Because we will not accept you. So, at 40, life started at 40. So if at 40 you are not married, I mean, come on, we will not put Ghana in your hands. You're going to mess us up. Because you have messed already yourself up. By not getting married. By not getting married at 40. But maybe the person has not met the life partner. <coughs> He's still seeking. He, he or she is still Bola. looking out for that soulmate. Bola. Yes. I will and I will take that from a lady. Okay. At 40, if she's not married. But not I a can, man. I can understand because of the lack of men in the system. We have so many women chasing men. Mm. But if at 40, a man is not married and want to be president, that man is not trustworthy. We'll come back to that. But how is the economy treating your pocket, Dr. Ayaga? Me, whether Satan is the president of the Republic of Ghana, I don't care. But Really? Yeah, I don't care. You'll be, you'll be okay? I'm fine. Because I built institution for myself. And even as I'm sleeping and talking to you, I'm You're making, making money. money. Really? Yes, of course. How much do you make in a day with all your business? I make a lot of money. So I don't care. Do, do you so what I... Let me... Have, you see, you want to learn something from me. Tell learn us. Learn tell us. Go ahead. You see... At age 40, 50, mm. if you are to be working and you go to the office and sit down and work, you have failed. Hey, Dr. Ayariga, if at age These 50, are my principles. At age 50, yes. if you are still if, going if, to the office, office to sit down and work uh -huh. before you make money, you have failed. And take money at the end of the month. You have, you make you have money, failed. You have failed. You should be making money every day. No, at age or 50, yes. if you have to drive yourself to work and work eight hours and make money, you have failed. Hey, then all politicians have failed in Ghana. No, why? All politicians then because they go they out are, there they are, they, are paid. they are taking responsibility of our country they are managing our country they are yes. not working for the money mm. you understand but at age 50 yes you still have to go and sit down eight hours yes and get salary before you can feed your family mm. you it's an to. indication of failure but no, as a businessman no, no but i mean there are people are who, are, 50, who are lecturers you who are, are doctors you wanna, you wanna, so are you telling them they failed dr ayaga no they are you see there are optional jobs that yes. people do not because they are looking for money to feed their family. No, but, but it's a profession. But, they, but then they they are looking for. They, they don't want to sit at home. They just want to do something. No, no, no. I mean, but, I tend to. But I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming. Yeah. You disagree, and I agree. Mm. So that's your cup of no, tea. No, because yeah, listen, they are lawyers. You listen to me. I'm listening. Lawyers. Yeah. They are looking for money. Mm. What is a lawyer looking for? Of course. So the person who. So if you see a lawyer, public, yes. If you see a lawyer who is a real lawyer who has made it, he doesn't go to court. He sits down and directs people to go to court. He doesn't go to court. He's too big for that. He will sit down. He has he has his um, what do you call it uh, chamber, uh, chamber. Mm. and he gives. They come to him and he tells them, "You go and do this. You go and he will go to court. He's he's past that stage. That's the man. You have to build your life to extend that. When you get to a certain stage, your money works for you or your brain works for you. So the chief directors in public your money works for you or your brains works for you. Yeah, but it, they are using their so brains to I work and help the nation. Yeah, and let's say they sit down nine to five. Uh, can you don't have a product so they yeah, feel it's not a businessman that's not a businessman that's no, a, but that's not a, all people that's, can that's, be business i'm a businessman not everyone can be a businessman that's a worker yes i agree not them, everyone them, can that's that's a worker mm. it's a worker it's a worker but and you said you, you failed if, if yes you don't. yeah yeah actually you failed because you can't you can't get everything that you want failure is not you getting everything that you want and you have to you have to sometimes uh, forgo something and get something mm. That's, that's, that's a, yes, that's a sign of failure. You don't know that? You should be able to get everything that you, you want. You don't know failure? You don't know the meaning of failure? 
Tell us. That is it. If you cannot get everything the time, the things you need, you <laughs> failed. That, that, that's some interesting, you know, uh, 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 conversation. Oh. No, not, not conversation, <laughs> but in terms of the nuggets that you are spewing out, I mean, the things that you are saying, I know that when we activate the phone lines, there are a lot of people out there who are actually going to listen because already on social media, people are sending in messages and they tend to agree with the philosophy that somebody just asks, what, 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 what does he have his PhD in? You want to tell us? Yeah, in business administration. In business administration. Yes. So, can you tell us about your findings? What, what, what was your thesis on? My thesis was on business administration. I did uh, economics and mathematics and accounting. Yes, so but what my, was your thesis my thesis on? was on yeah. tolerance and uh, political. What tolerance. was your topic? You did, you've done a I did, PhD. I did, yeah. Yes, I did political tolerance. Political tolerance? Yes. And uh, what findings? What Did you do a, a research? I, I yeah. used myself as okay. a research. Mm -hmm. I used myself as a research and my father. Okay. And I did that research while we started from. The northern part of Ghana, how politics started in Africa, mm. and how we started politics when people, those days, politicians were seven, were seven the, the citizens, and it's the delegates, and then now it's changed to a institute where now they are, we are seven them, they are seven us, you know, my father's time in 1979 to 81, I was a very young man, mm. at home, I see. People come to us, to my home, and then they donate granites, bags of granites. They donate chicken, goods, ships to the families. Oh, MPB. MPB means like MP son. MP, right. this is for your father. Your father has done so much for the communities, and we are coming to show appreciation. appreciation. Right. This is how it started politics in Africa. Until the period of Rawlinses and uh, other parties came, and now they started giving out instead of taking from the the people. So they they were now they were not serving them. Mm. They were not serving the people. So the people now got got angry and were not demanding from them. So that is the politics we now have. Monetization. Yeah, but, but, but back to your PhD because I, I I really want to interrogate yes. that and get to know the finance. So your conceptual model there was two, what? There are two PhDs. One was honorary. One was honorary. the one that you had to write for. What was your conceptual model and in all the scope? What was it like? Seriously, it's I did a lot about globalization because you're not giving it your specific topic. I'm giving you a PhD candidate. What did you do or a holder of PhD? What was your research topic? What was your thesis? Dr. Yes, Yad. that's why I told you that political science. No, it's, it's a broad one. You it's a broad one, and that is you what should, I was telling you. Narrow me. down and know that okay, fine. I did this, and this was my research topic. What was it? My research topic was that's what I told you: tolerance and the uh, what do you call it? Political science. Uh, uh, tolerance. Are you struggling to tell us your research? No, I'm not topic. struggling. What is your research topic, Doctor? Political Ida? science. Is and that's what I told you. Narrow it down and let's get narrow it down. Case. Yes. What, then, what was it? Yes. Then I what did mm -hmm. tolerance. No. Uh -uh. <laughs> what, was your, what was your conceptual <laughs> model, Doctor Yariga? That's what I told you. What What was it? That was I told you. Political science, and I did tolerance. I did uh, um, politics and tolerance. Your research topic. Yes, that's what I did. Political tolerance. Mm. Go and look for it. Is there? No, I, I know. Yeah, but, but if you don't understand it, you're asking me. No, research, no, no. research, no, no. research I, I, is broad. I know. But so you can limit it to your, whatever you your, want your to do. Your thesis should be addressing a challenge or an issue and say, well, I want to deal or solve this issue or problem. So, yes, there is, there's a research question, there's a research problem, and that's what I'm asking and that's you. What, what I is your told research? You yes. What political tolerance? You know, poli mm. you don't understand what the political tolerance That's why you are struggling to understand no, no, no. me. Please, you see, please in, Ghana, me. in Ghana, there's no political tolerance. Mm. What we did was that people, a lot of people yes. don't believe in political tolerance. We believe in hate speech. We believe it's in. Not what, you believe. what was your research topic, Dr. Ayaga? If you say political tolerance, that is good. But we're saying that, okay, so I researched into people's behavioral patterns and, you know, political tolerance using something as a case study. Where, where was I it? Your told you I used what? myself and my father as a case study. In political tolerance? Yes, of course. Wow. I told you this. You're not listening no, no, I'm to listening. me. In political tolerance. In political tolerance. I was in business. But no, no, no. In political tolerance. That's what I'm telling you. What's your sample size? My sample size was um, Ghana as a scoop. Mm. Okay. Mm. And looking at the uh, six political parties at that time. Okay. NDC, NPP, PNC, and APC. That is four. And CPP. That is four. NDC, NPP, NPP CPP, 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 PNC. You said six. Six. PNC, so and GPP, GCPP, <laughs> GCPP, 
GCPP. I did it in 2016. Yes. I did my PhD in 2016. Yes. So GCPP wasn't. Is that? Yes, I know. But well, you are that. confused yourself. I'm not. I'm not. But you mentioned. You mentioned. You said six and you six political four. parties. Yes. yes, MPP, NDC, PNC, CPP, CPP, huh? GCPP, GCPP, and the last one. Was, and the last one was um, mm -hmm. I think was what was. Oh, you think party? or you know? Yes, I did six parties. Yes, and I'm so really telling there's you, there's five. Yes, there's and the, the last one was N, uh, NDP, N? NDP, <laughs> Nana Kuledi's party. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah, wow. Okay. But you see, it's very simple for you to Google. Yes, we'll Google. We'll well, when Google. you Google, you see it. Political tolerance. Political tolerance. Right. Yeah. So, so you are saying that you will launch your research paper. Which, which, where is it? Which university is that? Atlantic University. Atlantic. Oh, so yeah. Atlantic University. Were you there in 2016? Or you were campaigning for, you know, no, no. Or long distance? Was it distance Was it learning? Long distance, long distance learning. Ah, long distance. Yes, ah, yes, aha. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Right, 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 right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so um, you, you get confused. No, no. Yeah, so, somebody just sent in a message that. So, yes. what do you say about Boris Johnson, who led the whole UK, United Kingdom, that we borrowed from? He's not married. You see, Boris Johnson is not married. Doesn't mean that we should allow Ghanaians who are not married to. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Boris Johnson, not married, does not mean that Ghanaians who are not. But Boris Johnson, when you see him, don't you see that's a failure? Look at the way the man is working. You see Boris Johnson, does it look like among people when we put him in the contextual <coughs> aspect of, okay. I mean, family members, he doesn't <coughs> fall in any of them. Really? No, he doesn't. That's, a, that's a very serious statement. But that's a fact. That's a fact. No, but he's, he's, he's a normal, sound human being of sound mind who has ruled one of the most powerful nations in, in, in the world. And I said when you see Boris Johnson, he doesn't, he's not of what? He doesn't you see, look there are what? three types of uh, people. Uh -huh. And uh, when those people are leading, and even people don't understand, they think that they are good. One, when a rich man goes into politics, right. everybody assumes because he's rich, he knows it all. So they start respecting him. When a, an intelligent man, who people think that he's intelligent, when he goes into politics, even when he's failing, people think because of his level of intelligence, mm -hmm. he's good. Right. Or when a chief, or a king, okay. And, and, uh, this is a public figure go into politics, then people then think that he is that. Okay, so right. if you if you want to ask me about Boris Johnson, Boris Johnson you, you think that he's not. I don't an example. think Boris Johnson has failed in life. Star one hundred three point five. Because FM. the mere fact that mm. he's a former prime minister, mm. go back and look at his life as a father or even as a normal person, <laughs> and then you will see that this man. <laughs> Okay. This man has done much. Let's 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 leave that. With, with time reading, some twenty minutes to it. Eight. The leader of the APC. This man has not done much. Doctor Hassan. Yes. Yes. Is, 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 is our guest right here? We'll, we'll get into the Ghanaian economy and all of that. But my last question on on, on this, and this coming in from Professor Ian e, 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 Nkrumah, listening to us, and. Uh, from Hacho, and he says that what was his findings again with his research topic. That's from Prof. Nkrumah to you, sir. Tell him political tolerance. <laughs> no, he said the findings. It's not about the topic or the... The finding yes. I told him. Yeah. It looked like people are trying to find a question that they don't understand. Or yeah, I told this you, is in my funding, in my funding, yes, findings. I did six political parties in comparison with political tolerance in Ghana. Mm. And now what was your finding? Yes. What I found was that... Uh -huh. What I found was that Ghanaians do not understand the democracy itself. The Ghanaians do not understand democracy. If that is what you want to know, they don't understand democracy. And Ghanaians was not matured enough to accept democracy at that level. Aha, uh -huh. so those are the findings. And that's what we're uh, asking. Oh, okay, that's what you're looking yes. for. Oh, thank you. Uh -huh. And that is what we find out that Africans, as, as, as a nation, Africa as a continent, we're, we're, not ready for we're not ready for democracy. democracy. It was forced on them in a way that they did not even understand it. They were not taught the, the, the merits, the importance. It was just saying like, oh, it is time for democracy. Everybody should accept it. Mm. And then they accepted it without understanding it. And so it becomes an issue where military leaders were even happy at the end of the day that, look, even though this democracy, but we did better than them. 
So that's what you found yes, out. Yes, that's what we found out. Fine. Out. We, 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 we rest that. Let, let's let's get into. Uh, are you uh, you need some water? No, 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 no. no yeah, okay, problem. okay. We are currently operating under the IMF program, and now with a new finance minister. Yeah. Are you hopeful that the economy can come back to its full strength? I mean, post COVID. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> yes. uh, when you recycle incompetent leaders, what happened? It's still the same results. President Akufado and uh, Finance Minister only push the blame to my good brother, Mohamed Aminu Anta, and taking the shine away and blaming him for the woes of Ghana. Why, as a nation, do you think that 17 years of, um, 67 years of independence, we've gone to IMF 17 times? It's a sign, does, that, does that get you worried? It's a sign of gross failure as a nation, mm. and that there's no future for this country where we find ourselves under the leadership of these two parties. As somebody who's done business administration, I will relate it to businesses and I will tell you that if I go to the bank and borrow money mm. to run a business, the purpose of taking this money is to build a business. Scale it up. Yeah. And scale it up. Now, even if I invest the money into the business and I'm not making profit, I should be able to be paying my interest mm. Mm. True. at that level. True. If I cannot pay interest, then that means that I did not invest the money in the business. I put the money somewhere. This is my business administration knowledge. If you take Ghana for instance, 17 FM. times IMF bailout mm. and borrowed over 62 billion Ghana cities. And yet as a nation, with all the oil, the cocoa, the timber, the gold, the bauxite, lithium, manganese everything yet we have borrowed this much and we cannot pay interest on it it's a serious serious indication of crisis wow. and that gets you worried and that gets me worried as a man and as a politician and as a businessman we'll come back after the break and find out from you yes. what under your leadership or administration what would you do differently and how can you turn this around with what you've actually cited we're time reading some 15 minutes away. eight is right here on star chart and we have some great news from oka deco for you well i've just been told that oka is having a mega sale this easter and they're giving us up to 60 percent off everything in store from now until the 31st of march you know what that's amazing oka is always setting the pace when it comes to top quality stylish furniture and decor for the best prices so you know where to go hurry and check out new arrivals at orca deco home and office furniture and accessories kitchen appliances bathroom accessories and you know what up to 60 percent off only from orca deco trust me orca deco locates their showrooms in Accra mall and also on the spintex road before everything runs out we'll be right back my name is bola ray the leader of the apc dr hassan Ayarga is our guest right here on Star Chat. We'll be right back. The other day, I visited Kweku at his spunky new office to congratulate him on opening his business. And man, was I impressed. The business is just moving quick. The sales, customers, everything is just working seamlessly. The secret? Hmm. He said, it's empty and business broadband. In this fast-paced environment, we need fast and reliable internet to support all business types. No laggy online meetings, great download and upload speeds, impeccable business management systems, all inclusive. I mean, you can have it all. So, I signed on immediately. <laughs> to enable your business stay ahead and stay connected, make sure you're signed on to the best internet made just for businesses. MTN Business Broadband. Sign up today on broadband.mtn.com.gh and manage your account on my MTN app. Call 0244-308-111 for more information. We are good together everywhere you go. Charlie, Chairman is still no here. What at all to be the issue? Ooh. Calm down. I'm sure you'll be here soon. Oh, guys, 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 sorry I'm late. Could you bab me for road? Sick of my insurance expire. Some long <laughs> issue, Charlie. <laughs> Chairman, pan. hey, you make a tip, Bob, you say coffee, you forget to renew your car insurance. When you can get your car insurance sticker 
instantly on Abdel. And best of all, you can set a reminder to renew. Simple matter. Just install the app, enter your car number, and oh la la, your instant insurance sticker is there. Oh, really? Make a do am now before I forget. One time. I can even renew it every month. Wow. Charlie, 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 as for this one, today, as usual, the sitting is on me. Visit hoptel.com slash app to download your Hoptel app and set a reminder to renew your car insurance today. Hoptel is everything you. It's portable, disposable, and always on hand when you need it. Flora Disposable Handkerchief fits in your pocket or bag, and it's always ready to come to the rescue. Sweat? No problem. Coughs and colds? Caught safely. Tears of joy or despair? Wiped away. Flora Tissues, in the form of disposable handkerchiefs, box tissue, toilet roll, multi-purpose towels, and table napkins, plays an important role in personal, home, school, office, and commercial hygiene, minimizing the spread of infections and keeping us healthy. Flora Tissues are made with premium tissue paper, so choose Flora Tissues. To be a distributor, call 0243-033-033. Can you hear it? The freedom in our songs. The sound of liberty. Hear it. The freedom in our songs. The sound of liberty that rings from Kaswa to Karaga, from Tamale to Takradi. It's in the pestles that pound from coast to coast. It's in the busy offices, the crowded streets, and the noisy schools. It's in the wisdom of our elders and in the laughter of our children. It's in seeing how far we've come and looking at how much we can grow. It's in knowing that still Ghana go be. Happy 67th Independence Day, Ghana. MTN. Right, so welcome back. You're on Star Chat. My name is Bola Ray, and uh, Dr. Hassan Ayarga is our guest right here. Great news from MTN. You know, we all have those days when we have low or we are low on everything energy, time, cash, and even airtime and data. Well, that's why MTN Extra Time is an airtime data advanced service that allows you to make calls or yet to browse the internet even when you have insufficient balance. So doing your favorite things on MTN means you don't get interrupted even when you're low on airtime or data. So some great news. Remember, all T's and C's apply. MTN, everywhere you go. And a big thank you to Haptel. Haptel is everything you. And also to Coa Plus Mixture. Well, thank you, Coa Plus, for supporting us right here. Welcome back. And uh, Dr. Hassan Ayarga, loads of messages and people can join us as well. And they, they, they'll, they'll be calling, we'll be activating the, the yeah. phone lines and, 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 and all of that. But let, let, let's get in, in, into it some more. And you, 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 you were saying something before we actually, you know, curtailed it and had to go for uh, the commercial break. But also, the, a message here wants to know, how will you assess President Akufuado's administration on a scale of 1 to 10? 1 to 10. Mm. I think that um, we'll break it down. And if we break it down into institutional uh, assessment, right. if we take security, we'll say that is the aspect where I think the IGP mm. is doing so well. So you want to commend the IGP yes. under the President Akufuado? He's one person that I would really like to commend. Mm in terms of security, in terms of visibility of the police, in terms of discipline of the police, in terms of achievement of the police. On a scale of on 1 to 10? 1 to 10, I will give him 9. 9? That's so you, you, you score President Kofadu's administration in terms of security? IGP, the police. Oh, the IGP, the police. Yes. Okay, but the security service? The security service, oh, in terms of safety. We, we are 9 over 10? 9 over 10. Wow, okay. That's, that's the only place I think that, mm. for me, mm. this is what I see. As a president, I admire. But then the only f problem with the security aspect is the entrance, the, the enrollment. Okay. Okay. That is where I think that we need to change. If I am president today, the standard for getting into the, uh, the is, uh, what do you call it? The security, security service. services yeah. mm. will start from first degree as president. 
Because you see, security is important intelligence. It's an intelligent office. And when we talk about security, we're talking about national security, we're talking about the police institution, we're talking about the military institution, we're talking about all these institutions. Now, it has been reduced to job for the boys. Stop no country. No country. So you think that the SHS would not be the basis for it will anybody? Not. It will not. First will degree. First degree. Under uh, President Ayariga. Under President Ayariga. And what I'm going to do is that, you know, so, so far we've not talked about the policies of Hassan Ayariga and what he intend to do. We've just been chatting. No, no. We'll, we'll come to that yeah. because we, we're, we're doing it in phases. So we have yes. all of that lined up. Yes, all right. Sir. So I, under, under my leadership, first degree, to enter into any security institution. Because these are the very men who are supposed to have intelligence mm. Mm. about what is happening in this country. And when we reduce it to job for the boys, we have reduced the level of security and safety to nothing. Mm. And we cannot compromise the safety of the people mm. to the job for the boys. So for security, you score President Kofuado 9 over eight, 10. 8, 9, 8, 9, eight, nine, eight nine, 9 over 10. Okay, and then when we get into health? Into health, I don't think that uh, he get 5. 5. He won't get 5. He won't? He will get a 3. What happened to Agenda 101? Mm. Zero. This is in 2020. You said the, almost 80. In, in 2020, mm -hmm. the president promised Agenda 101. Today we are 2024, and not even one has been commissioned. Unless you have to tell me, I don't know. Well, oh, oh, about 80 now, are ready to be commissioned. Yeah, about four years. Mm. You're building a hospital in, in seven years? In four years? Mm. Then we're not serious. I want to build Ghana in four years. I don't want to be a two-term president. Okay. You want to be a one-term president? I want to be a one-term oh, president. Oh, so... Dr. Hassan Ayala wants to be a one-term one president. president. And Ghana should try you for that one term. And I don't want to be two-term president. It's a waste of if my time. If you deliver and they want you when to... When you deliver and finish, yes. you put the proper institution in place. You don't need to be there. So you want to be a one-term one -term president. president. Whoever comes now will be a ceremonial president. Oh. I'm going to build Ghana to a standard. Every institution works automatically. Bolare, I don't need to know you to give you a job. That's I don't right. need to know you to sign your contract. Mm. I don't need your contract. I need the papers. What will you do differently? Let's Good. Do. What I would do differently? Four things that you would do differently to change Ghana. For, first of all, Ayaga. yes. The mentality and the attitude of Ghanaians must change. That's the first aspect. Mentality and Ghanaian attitude must change to make the Ghanaian first. So your first hundred days, you want to change the mentality of Ghanaian. And the Ghanaian must come first in everything we do. You see, when Rawlings in 1979 had the opportunity. Mm to lead Ghana and did his coup d'etat, many Ghanaians had hope and trust and belief in him as a leader. He moved the crowd, he moved the nation mm. with his ambition. Charisma, yeah. No, not charisma, his ambition. ambition. Okay. His vision for Ghana. And Ghanaians, youth and young men and grown up women rallied behind him because they saw a man with vision a man focused to change their lives. So they moved along. This time around, Hassan Ayerga is going to do upgrade that level and bring the Ghanaian first. The mentality of Ghanaians must know that they come first in anything we do in this country. That whatever opportunity is for this country, for them, the mineral resources is yes, no more PPP. Every investment must go to the Ghanaian citizen. Every job must go to the Ghanaian citizen. Every job. Everything must come Ghanaians first. Oh, Ghanaians first, but not Ghanaian entirely first. Ghanaians. Ninety percent supposed to be Ghanaian. When you become president, ninety yes. percent of ninety percent of everything in Ghana belongs to Ghanaians. Really? Yes. But already, you don't this, need this is you my know country. some partnership and then people bringing in some you only need transfer partner. of knowledge. They have the resources. You, you can you can hire them, but it doesn't mean they should be owners of it. 90% of businesses in Ghana must be owned by Ghanaians. And that's my policy. This is our country. If our youth becomes 21st century slaves out there and do not think that they have a future in their own country, where else do you think they will hit their chest and say they belong to? Well, so moving on, you, you say, I asked you to name four things that you do differently. One. one is mindset. Number two will be Number what? two is a national data system. We don't have a data in this country that collect information of Ghanaians. The president doesn't even know how many citizens we have 
at his finger. So, but now with the finger NI, NI, National in. Identification Authority and all of that, we have these, that. These are sub, Ghana card, yeah. sub data information. Yeah, no, really? They do not have a central database that all of them would derive information for. The central database is the national data system. That you, Bolloway, passport. All I need from you. No, passport is there, fingerprint yeah. is there, telephone number is there, your Biometrics, car number plate, yeah. biometric, your car number plate is there, your blood sample is even captured into the system. Okay. The number of houses you have is taken. The number of jobs you do, your salary is taken, your bank accounts details is being taken. Everything it's about centralized. You, centralized. So if I want to know about Bolare, <laughs> even his telephone number, I key in, I have information of Bolare. His children, his houses, his salary. So if Bolero is driving a Land Cruiser or a G Wagon that is over two hundred thousand dollars, and, and his salary, sal his salary is thousand dollars, <laughs> Masa, you can't Oh really? Uh, yes. Oh, but maybe inheritance. Well, oh. you cannot inherit that. It will show the system. Will show. <laughs> 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 President, are you sure? Oh, oh, Unless we we'll, we'll vote for. The, if somebody is driving a, a, a Land Cruiser, where do you get the money from? Yeah, it has to friend. show. No, your father cannot. But you declare. Your, it will show from that your father mm. gave you that money in the system. Mm. The bank information will show that the money was transferred from your father. That would be a and then your job. father. It's you not a lot of job. It's, a, it's an easy job. Once it's done. National data, what you call it? What? National data system. system. Once that is done, you have now the capacity to go to the next stage. National development plan. Right. National development. That's your third one. Yes, natural development plan. But we have one now. NDP. Is what, what you have? What have you developed? Forty years. What, what have you developed? You don't, how, even, how, you how, don't even know what you are doing. That's an issue. My will. This data system will now give me the statistics and the picture of what I want to do as a nation. How many doctors I need every year? How many nurses I need to train every year? Mm. How many students are going to go into agriculture? What are we producing? Do we have food? Are we importing? Every information you give me. So these statistics, having this, will now give me the opportunity to plan. You are doing this in four years, Dr. Yes. Ayaga. Because you say you want to be one term Because president. you don't work, you think that time mm. is much. Mm. When you work, you are done. Really? Because we don't work. In four years. We don't work one eight years. When you don't work, even ten years, you can't do Twenty years, open to me. Wow. 20 years won't do anything. So but when you're years, working, yeah. one year you will see the difference. Look, let me tell you something today yes. as a businessman. Yes, I want you to get up in the morning. When you get up in the morning, take a pen and a paper and write the things you want to do for the day. Mm. Mm? Write it down on paper. And then you put it before you and you get up in the morning. You start following one by one. You finish it before. Very effective. You, you finish that? it before one hour or two hours. You are done. Because you are following it. In 30 minutes, I want to be here. You are done. You are moving to the next. I want to go to Ayaga's house. You are done. I want to come to uh, the office. It's time from you are done. So you plan, you, you coordinate. Plan. So yeah. when you plan and you follow the plan, you execute it faster. You are, you are able to do a lot more. A lot more. Than when you don't plan and you sit down every day, you get up in the morning and you have nothing. That to is do. how you, 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 that is, you that govern is, Ghana. That is how I'm going to govern Ghana. Everybody must be a serious worker. Okay, so three. The last one will be what? The last one. Very interesting one that you even <laughs> is what you will even understand right. is to lock down Ghana. Lock down. Yes. Hey, economic lockdown. Ayaga is going to introduce economic, economic lockdown. How? Because after planning, we realize that we don't produce. We import over 1.2 billion dollars of rice, rice every year. When we can farm rice, we import over 700 million dollars of oil. When we can use granite to do oil, palm oil. Cocoa to do oil, soya bean to do oil, uh, uh, what do you call it? Cacao to do oil, uh, a whole lot of it. Canula to do oil, bees, uh, what do you call it? Uh, 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 cocoa to do oil. We don't do anything, we import everything. So this lockdown is going to give us an opportunity to begin to extract and do our thing, become a production hub. In four years. In, what are, no, you are saying that. Have you ever, do you have a four years child? Is yeah. she not talking? Yeah. Is she not working? Mm. Is she not in school? So you do that. That's how Ghana is. Yes, that is what. When you don't work, you are going to lock down Ghana for four years. For one Ghana year. Will, for will one produce, year. For one year. You and lock Ghana down. Will, yes. No importation. No of, importation. Wow. Because you see, Nkuruma said. What happened to Nkuruma free said? Trade, trade, I Nkuruma mean, said. Yes. That the black man is capable of managing his, his own affairs. affairs. Yeah. But I see. Mm. The black man is only capable of managing his own affairs when there are no opportunity available to the black man. And that's my lockdown.
there's after the African so, free trade, continental free trade. You are going to lock down your country, shut it down from trading with other countries and importing. What's, what's wrong with that? So you are going to. I'm building my country. After we have I am, build, I am building my Indiana. country. I'm not importing. Are you going to sack them? I am not importing. I'm not sacking anybody. But what we are doing, you don't, you don't understand the meaning of economic lockdown. Economic mm. lockdown is to build your country. Yes, but... Transform I mean, your country. You Africa, don't need, Africa you don't need the help of intra, anybody. Intra we assume that uh -huh. the mindset must change. Yes, Very. but... Bola. We are trading Bola. amongst ourselves. We don't, want to trade, we don't want to trade for one year. You don't want to? No, we want to produce for one year. Wow. We don't want to trade for one year. You are not going to trade. I'm not going to trade for one year. I am going to build my country within one year. And after one year, when I open okay, up, the world will see Ghana at the top level. That's something like what China did. Uh, at I don't know point. what China did. Yes. But this is what I'm going to do as President Hassan Ayerga. You lock down. I will lock down my country for one year. Not trade with any. Not trade with anybody and build. And the Ghanaian must now begin. You see, the, you see the beginning I told you about Rollins idea of yeah, people following the vision this mm. is now my vision of my people following me letting them know that look this country is our only country why we either stand together or fall stand together if if he's listening to us at east legon he says bolare i saw your promo uh, before this interview dr ayaga says that he was actually going to get us water from sea water yeah is that for you are you going to do that yeah that's possible oh sea water sea water you see, you are going to let Ghanaians drink sea water. No, no, you, you, you turn it into drinking water. water. Okay. I brought the, I brought the, um, the technology in 2006. There about. So you don't take the sea to Kumasi, but you. No, no, no. I'm <laughs> <laughs> the one who take the sea to Kumasi is there. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you, you are drinking water from, from sea the sea. Water. It's very simple. Redu. If you Google Redu, mm. R E D O company. Okay. It's okay. in Germany. They turn sea water to drinking water. And I brought that technology here. At that wow. time, Boniface was a minister for works, uh, works and housing, or what you call it. And I went and introduced it to him. It was under MPP. Guy. They didn't even understand it. It's a filtration using charcoal, salt, and sand. Wow. And uh, charcoal, uh, sand, and then um, uh, some level of, uh, what do you call it? I've forgotten the other third one. Mm. And then it filters. It goes to the seawater. The seawater goes to the charcoal face. Normal charcoal that you know, mm. okay. Filter is takes it through the the sand, reduce the level, the 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 depth, the depth in it, and then filter it a drinking water. I will send you. Please the, send me the link. I will send you the link. Yes. So when you become president, you turn sea water into drinking, to drinking water. water. Yeah. Wow, what a promise! It's not you a will, promise. You do it. What I'm doing is things that you can't imagine. Wow. wow. We need to begin to understand that we are above pettiness. As a nation, mm. we cannot be continuing to be beggars when we have the best brains in the world. Meanwhile, they are, they are redundant. We don't make good use of them. All these are our students. Mm. I am going to create a system where students will not go out looking for a job. Building an economy, a country, where at level 300 as a student, you are already given an opportunity to choose what job you want to do in the country. So by level 300 going to level 400, you, are being, you know where you are going, whether you want to. And I'm going to give a quota, like I said, beginning, mm. for the security agencies, the military, the police, the national security to, to, to universities. So those who want to be national security officers will, know, know. will start training even from before level, they graduate. Even before they graduate. So they know that me, when I finish graduate, this is where I'm going. So even before they all finish school, they all know where they are going. This is a country you must build. You don't sit down for people to dictate you what you want to do. Nana Ikuya sends in a message and says, well, great and uh, fantastic ideas. Uh, Dr. Ayaga, I think that he's changing my mind for me to vote for him come December. Interested. Musa, listening to us in Asylum Down, says, a greetings to Dr. Ayaga. With all humility, ask Dr. Ayaga if he owns a company and he's to choose a manager between um, Vice President Baumia and... Uh, John Dramani Mahama, who is he employing? None of them. None? Mm -hmm. mm. Well, they are already old for my job. <laughs> Let's talk about growing they up. They are too old for my job. They are too old for your job. Yeah, they passed that age. I will not choose that. At, at what age? Because I, 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 I watched an interview with you and you said you made your first million dollars under 30. 21. 21? Mm. You made your first one million dollars. What, what business was that, Dr. Yarga? You know, I grew up in Germany at age 16. Okay. 17 after I finished sixth form. I want to live in Germany. And then I was asked to study the German language. Mm. And then um, before I can continue my education. 
So I went back to the German language, and then I started studying the German language. While studying in school, after I finished, I was doing part-time work, and I was driving pizza delivery. Oh, you, you, you used yes. to deliver pizza? Yes, so I've, when I closed from school, sound system, radios, TVs, fridges. I can and shipping do, them to? Shipping them to Ghana. Ghana? Oh. I do like 10 containers. Even before 20 years? Yes, 10 containers, 15 containers, 10 containers, 15 containers. And then when I came, I was making so much money, I didn't even know what to do with the money. Wow. So I go to the, I go to the floor mark, it's called the floor mark, mm. and they have TVs all over, and the person can tell you that, okay, how many TVs do you want? I say, I want, you just say, look, take all, give me this amount. He wants to get rid of it. Of, yes. He brings it in a big truck, and he doesn't have time to carry so it. So at back. age 21, you made your first one million dollars. I made my first one million. Cash. Cash. Not, not the one in properties. <laughs> oh, and and, and, and we not turned back in, in, in this. Yes, so, so I built that. I built my first house at age 19. First house. Yes, in Hachu. In you know, ha okay. The, yes, the, the, one the one APC headquarters. That's right. That's my first house. Interesting. Yes. Age 19. In the 19. You built that house. I built that house. And it's still in good and shape. And it's still you know? looking. Yes. I like good things, I and I invest it. in good things. And, and, and then that was your first company, the pizza company. Then the you came company. to Ghana. And then I came to and I opened them. I had branches in Germany. Oh, 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 hello, oh, oh, pizza. Hello, pizza. Hello, pizza is yeah, for you. Yeah, hello, pizza. <laughs> Whoa. You know, really? Yes, hello, pizza. Man. I started it in... Um, that was the first second. company. Yeah, the Dunk was second. That was mine. Yes. The runner, but the Dunk was... Yes, yes, that was mine. Then there was another one at Teshi. Teshi. No, Teshi. Okay. Teshi, the bowling center. That's right. That yes. was mine. The bowling center was all mine. Oh, the bowling center. The bowling center, the Chinese restaurant and all that. That, that was building was that, that was mine. Wow. You have a lot of money. Yes. Because exactly. at that time. And then I, I moved into import and export. Of what? So I was now, I was now supplying trucks to the leasing companies. Africa Lease, Africa Leaks, Ghana Leasing Company. I was supplying them with heavy duty trucks. You had a lot of trucks. And then. that was when I met uh, President Mahama and Ibrahim. Maha, okay. Because Ibrahim too was buying truck trucks from, yeah. from uh, no, no, from Ghana leasing. Leasing, okay. So President Mahama was his handler. Ah. So President Mahama was handling Ibrahim's uh, leasing campaign. Mm. So he comes to manage it for. So that's where we're always together. We come and then I come and take my. You still in the transport business? I take take my check and walk away. You still in the transport business? I'm still in every business. You're still in every business. Every business. Wow. Every business. Life, life is how you make it. When you when you keep working, you keep mm. making money. Right. When you stop, everything stops. And now you, you, have, you have this magnificent house on the way to Trasaco. Mm -hmm. You bought about two or three houses, put them together, and, and, and that's where you live. That's where I live. It's a, it's a huge statement. It's a, it's How a many bedrooms? What? It has 15? No, 12 bedrooms, two penthouses, wow. eight halls. Do you feel fulfilled in life? I think yes. That is why I want others to also take, get part of me. Mm. I think that even at age 20, 21, I, I finished looking for what I was looking on, on Earth, planet Earth. At age 21, you had yes. made enough money that you were okay and... I, I asked myself, what is the world about? Wow. I got to a point. I, my wife and I decided to travel around the mm. country, okay. around the world. Around the world? Yeah, so we moved from one country to another one country. I don't want to be talking how about many, how, of course, <laughs> we're how many countries have you visited as far? Oh, so many. I don't, I don't even remember. Over 50? I don't know. I don't remember. So we went around the world. Then I told my wife, you know, this is the end of the world. This is the end of the world. There's nothing about the world anymore. But you know, if, you have, if I've achieved all that, then you ask yourself, what is it about this You world? want to be president. <laughs> I mean, now you want to help people. Oh. You want to just help people because it now becomes boring. It gets to a stage that when you make so much, mm. you've achieved so much, you've gone everywhere, mm. you've seen everything. Right. Then you think that what is there what again? Is there again? So you become very humble. Right. You, you, you respect. You now see that what you have is just to help people, support people, to also see. But so you have so much money or too much money that no, you don't No, I don't have even, too much money. No, but you are comfortable. <laughs> I'm you're comfortable. Open, yes, you're comfortable, comfortable and now you just want to help people. Yes, that's what I do. Because at this age, mm. 50, right. whether I have attained, yes. it's not an age for me to be struggling looking for money. That's what I told you that it's 50. 50. You, should you, just, should, you should just... Have survive. you retired from active service or work life? I don't work anymore. You don't work anymore? The, work, the, work, the business does. The work, the, work, the money does. At what age did you retire? 38. 38? 38, 40. 
So you, you made a conscious decision that, well, you stay back. I started working at age 16. So Bola let's Ray. be the chairman of the companies and let the money work. Yeah, Bola Ray, you, yeah. You, you work. 16. You see, when we don't begin to work very early, mm. we cannot retire early. We retire very late. Right. But when you begin work very early, you retire very early. And then you make so much. Right. Because that is the time. I'm talking to the youth out there. Sure. This is not a time for you to use nightclubs, to be going to nightclubs and do all the fancy things. Mm. No, this is not the time. This is the time for you to concentrate on your future, what you want to do. Good. Start building your future now. Because that is the time you have the energy, the strength, the knowledge, the power, and everything to do. When you get to 40, you, you begin to get weaker. And you slow down in mm. everything. Right. Everything you slow down, you know. That's when you enjoy your money. That is when you now begin to become a senior citizen. Right. A man of men. You, you walk your walk. Mm -hmm. Talk your you talk. You talk your talk. You live your life. Mm -hmm. You laugh the way you want. You're happy. What, makes, what makes you happy in life? <laughs> when, I, when I'm able to satisfy a lot of people and make them happy. Oh. When I'm able to give and people are happy, that was making me happy. You're a good man. Yeah, that was me. That's you what see makes me. It. That's what makes me happy. You enjoy the fine. I enjoy the fine. When I get home, especially when I go to the north, Boku like that. I have yeah. a very huge, huge, huge house. In Boku, I'm on a forty plot. Forty plot. That's where you live. Yeah, that's three gates. <laughs> <laughs> forty plots. Yes. Wow. I have mosque inside. You have a mosque in your house. Four plot on a four plot. A mosque on the swimming pool. That's a, that's an acre. You have. Oh, okay, so we've seen the pictures of your house for those of us this is I've been a, watching on Facebook. Uh, this yes. is the one in a cry here. Is that your car? Is that is so that my car? One, one of my cars? One of your cars. Which my, one is this? Which, this which is a Lamborghini. Oh, you have a Lamborghini and you yeah. have what? Well, what I, have again? I see. Cars. The blue one is what? A Porsche. Oh, you have a Porsche. Is it a Porsche Cayenne it's or it's Carrera or what? It's the loudest car in Africa. It's the loudest? Yes. Why when you. You it's just German, the, uh, German, German boy. Yeah, a Porsche. Yeah. Yes, we need Porsche. You, yeah. know, you know, you want to drive with these cars. How many cars thus far and still counting? I don't know. Over, over 10? Oh, 10 is nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you have more than 20 cars parked <laughs> in your house. Wow. Hassan Ayariga. You have a mosque in your house yes. sitting on an acre. Yes, sitting on an acre. The house itself, uh, it has three pools. One at the rooftop in Boku, not in Accra. In Boku, <laughs> I have one at the rooftop. Of rooftop pool. Yes, rooftop pool. In Boku. Yes, in Boku. And I think we have to visit there. soon. Yes. And three down. Three. And three down. It has about. Um, I have a wide garage, yeah. which takes about ten cars. Ten in cars in Boku. Yes, in glass garage. Before I have other garages, I have a gym. I have a summer hard. Uh, so what I do is that when I'm in town. I buy a lot of stuff. My wife is a very great person. Mm. My wife will cook for the whole community. Really? Yes. She goes there with the chef. I've never been to Boko. I think she that will, I, yes. I, I have she goes an there with invitation. I have to go there. Every day we kill a wow. goat, a sheep. Every whatever. day you Every kill a goat. Day. She makes breakfast for more than 100 people a day. Interesting. So you, you people come in. She's, uh, she even called them. They, they called them everybody. She's so, so nice. She said, let's call everybody. Mm. And then when we're going, she, do, she will prepare bills, use clothing, and all that. that, that that's your wife yes, on, a, on, yes. a, on a screen, yes, you know, yes, there. Yes, and you have a very beautiful wife. Thank you. And you've, been, you. you've been married, you. you said, for 20 years? 20 years. Wow. Yes. How did you meet your wife? That's that? Yes, that's her. <laughs> how, how did you meet my Dr. beautiful queen? But this one said, my beautiful Rebecca. <laughs> <laughs> what's, the, what, what's your wife's name? Uh, um, Anita. Anita. As, uh, she and the chief of staff. Right. Yes, right. Yes. right. How do you guys meet? Ah, interesting. That's, you see us. This is us in China, on the left there. Okay. We went to China for holidays. Wow. This was her 40th birthday, the one in the middle. Middle, okay. This was one of her birthdays. So we were in the house, in the bed, one of the bedrooms. Right. And we were just, we, we like to enjoy like family. I can tell. Yeah. Yes, we, I can tell. We like, we like, I, I love family. Mm. I love family. I, I can love see people. you're a family man. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so. Um, what is the most expensive item that you own? Me? Yes. My life. Your life? Yes. It's the most expensive and uh, clearly you're not trading for anything. Nothing. Nothing. Yes, my life and that of my family. And that of your family. That's the most expensive thing in my life. 
I love that. I love that. <laughs> well, we're activating the phone lines now. You are out there. You can join us by calling 055 288 0216. That's 055 288 0216 or 0535 183317. That's 053 518 3317. I, I note that Mahama, Honorable Mahama Yariga, is your sibling, who is your brother, right? Younger brother. Younger brother. And you are proud of each other's accomplishments uh, in life, politically and career-wise. Yes. What do you have to say about him? Mama is a hard-working guy. Very focused. Very, okay. very focused. Right. We have a caller on, on, on the line. Hello and good evening. Hello, good evening. You're on Star Chat. Hello. Hello. Uh, hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Good yes, sir. Uh, good evening. What's your name, please? Uh, please, my name is Ashishu. All right, and you're calling from? I'm calling from a school junction. School junction, great. Yeah. Go ahead, Dr. Hassan Ayaraga is our guest. Uh, Go ahead, please. He's a king of inspiration. Yes, he's a king of inspiration. And then, kind of, uh, the kind of advice that is given to the youth. I'm so happy because he's a man of vision. So mm. I would advise my whole uh, youth that we should come together and then seek uh, uh, the, the good seed in this man so that it would have an impact in us. That is what right. I would, So uh, you, you vote you vote for the APC come December, right? Oh boss. Boss. That boss, that NDC and NTP. That NDC and NDP, they are, uh, what do we say? They are twins, Penny and Kakra. They are always doing the cock or the John. But this man is different from others. All right, then. Thank you very much for joining us uh, from Ashali Boche. You seem to have a, a strong fan base out there, and many uh, are, are in tune and in line with your policies. They, they really yeah. want to see you become the president of Ghana. The do you get that a lot when you, you know, go around the country? When I, you see him, the perception of Hassan Ayurga is different when you sit with him. Mm. When you sit with Hassan Ayurga one on one, then you know this is the man for Ghana. But when people talk about him from distance, some people make fun and joke and think he, he jokes a lot. And you know, joking is part of our life. Right. Everybody and what he feels like. Mm. I can be I can be like a kufado, squeeze my face, okay. No, the president talking. doesn't squeeze it. What, what, what no, I, I mean, I can be like that when I'm talking. Be like, squeeze his face like no, that. I mean, show that I'm not a woman, so I'm not, I'm not a person no, you no, can't. You, hold on, so hold on. I said, I'm saying I can He's be that. He's a very far-loving person. Have you met him one-on-one? -on -one yes, Abu Vado. Yes. He's my good friend. When yes, we meet, so why you saying that? Well, that's what I'm saying. I can be like him in public. Mm. By doing what? By being the same, the way he, he, he portrays himself. I'm president and I'm a So... <laughs> <laughs> we have a caller <laughs> online. Uh, so the, the, most, the most important thing is that NDC and MPP, mm. they've served this country. Okay. And they've served it to their best. We have a call online as they join us on 055 288 or 053 518 That's 055 288 or 053 518 Let's see who we have on the line. Hello and good evening. All right. Well, sorry, we lost that one. Yes. So. You 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 going on about it? You're saying that people should not judge you from. Well, hold on. Hello, good evening. Oh, our lines are just dropping. Lots of hello. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello. Yes, good evening, sir. Uh, I have to your program. Right, and your name first. Um, why? would advise Mr. Dr. Yehiga is that he has a very nice uh, agenda. But from the experience that I have with Ghana, uh, smaller parties have never been able to achieve a sense of political structure where it is able to be, they are able to have the money to create the country. So, over the last three or four months, I have been agitating for all the so-called suspects to come together because brain is not uh, 
limited to one person. Nobody has the total uh, custodianship of all the dreams of the world. So if we can all partner up, that's a big, a one big uh, uh, alliance, so to speak, then we can take Ghana on by storm, and then we can flip over the two greedy parties. Okay. And well, point, point well made. So he's calling for an alliance. Is this something you subscribe to, Dr. Ayata? Yes, I, I already did that. I I gave a blueprint of all poli the 10 political parties. Mm -hmm. I picked 10 political parties, um, APCC, PPC, PND, APNC, and all that. And we wanted to form a coalition. And then I asked that every party should go and get a presidential candidate, uh, Congress done. We have, we have a call online, please. Uh, uh, sorry about that, but I'll come to you. Hello, good evening. Yeah, my name is Daniel from Bokwasi. Your name is? Daniel from Bokwasi. Bokwasi, great. You're on air. Yeah, please, uh, I'm really grateful for our senior brother. In fact, uh, he has made a mark in his life. But I have a problem because uh, all Normans have three sicknesses, which I've always been telling my brothers that if we don't change, the poverty line will never be reduced enough. The one number one sickness that the normal all not so the big man. When they come, oh brother, you have come, they'll cook food for you, they'll give you old clothes, and then they'll advise you to be a teacher. The teacher cannot take you, being a teacher cannot take you from out of the poverty line. Being a policeman cannot take you out of the poverty line. Being anywhere. Look at the shanties. They when they when they go to the top, they help their brother, push them outside. Ayerga I ago was fortunate. Fortunate to be there at the Germany and work. How many of us can get the opportunity? We could have even be greater than what he is saying. I'm not criticizing him. I like him as a person. He has achieved most. You have to honor who, who he, he deserves, whatever honor he deserves. I, 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 I. All right, then. Well, thank you. Thank you very much uh, for, for, for joining us uh, as well. And yes, you're talking about your, your, your sibling, your brother, Mahama. Well, lots of calls. People seem to like you a lot. Lots of calls coming in. Hello, good evening. Good evening, Bola. Yes, sir. Your name is? My name is Rasasi, your son. Rasasi. Your How are you doing from Christian Village or Kisama, yes, right? Uh, yes, I'm doing well. Very well. You are there. Hassan Ayaga is here, please. Uh, no, no, I, I, I listen to him and I the comment, the plans that he has, I appreciate it. But what is he doing for the, the homeless? The street children, the kaya ye. He didn't make all the statements, but he didn't touch the kaya ye and the homeless. Okay. What plans do we have for them? All right, then. What plans do you have for those on the streets, the homeless, the hawkers, and all of that? We designed a new plan for all these people. Everybody is going to go into apprenticeship, skill training. We cannot build a society without skill training. It doesn't matter who you are, you can still be an apprentice. So we have an apprenticeship program where we'll enroll most of them. I will not entertain Kayoyo as a president. It's out of the context. How are you going to deal with that? Then? Gonna I'll, I'll come back for an answer, but I'll call Hello, good evening. Hello? Good evening. Good evening. Your name? Uh, my, uh, uh, my name is Openi Kojara Sanchi. I'm calling from Kibia Papen. You're calling from where? If you have a problem. Okay, go ahead. Uh, I want to ask my dean campaign president, uh, Ayariza. Is not a president. He's a second time that he would come to from power. And also, so when he comes to from power, what is he going to do for uh, those? Hello? Uh, too bad. Too bad we lost you. Yes, so, yes. like I said, so the data system that we're going to in, um, build mm. will give us the information of everybody. Whether you are Kayoyo, you are Libra, mm. you are security man, we'll redirect skill training to make fit, get everybody to fit into doing something. So skills development is yes. very key. high on your agenda. It's very key. Everybody must be productive to the okay. country. Okay. We cannot have people that will give unemployment benefit for not working. Even though it's a process, mm. unemployment benefit will be given to those who cannot work. Or we have another program we call food benefit. So we're going to produce enough 
those who cannot feed themselves will right. be getting food benefits and unemployment benefits. All right. Uh, um, we'll pick our last caller. Hello, good evening. Last caller? Yeah. Okay, last two. If you may. <laughs> Hello, good evening. Yeah, good evening. Your name, sir? My name, my name is Daniel. Daniel, and you're calling from? Achimota. Achimota, you're on air, Daniel. Let's hear you, please. Uh, I'm grateful for our senior brother, and we are really proud of him. His achievement. But the question I need to ask the Ayanga and other candidates. Uh, Any time they make money, they say they want to help. Can they help without even asking us to vote for them? That's question. The question I want to ask. Can't you help without you know I seeking learned, for the high office? I learned I learned that from my father. Growing up as a father, like I told you, he used to help a lot of people, and that was what pushed my brother and I into politics to help. So we've started helping long ago. Long ago. Not now. We okay. didn't start helping bec before we went into politics. We went into politics mm. because we want to help more. Okay. Because the, 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 the coffers of Ghana is being misused. The resources of Ghana is being misused. So you misused want to go in, in there money as well. Okay. So that everybody gets benefit of All it. Alright. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Alright. Well, uh, we seem to have lost that caller on, 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 on the line. But then, as we wrap up, we just well you wanted to say something go ahead no you want okay to, yeah. I'm, I'm saying that as 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 we wrap up four things you mentioned that you want to do for ghana but also on this show we give the chance opportunity for uh our guests to also employ people as well if you get the chance you you own a lot of business how many businesses now i don't know you don't even know the number of businesses <laughs> you have you know what? i don't know because more, more than five right oh five there my yes sir it's right. So you have about <laughs> ten businesses. Uh, I, I, we want you. See, uh, uh, now there's something the I want you to know. Yes, please. There is something that I do that is very big. Which is. It's not for me to say it. Okay. You give out. I employ a lot of people that I don't know. Wow. So today and it's done. Do, yes. Separately from different. Different. Today on the show, we want you to give employment to five people in different businesses that okay. you own. Okay, we are looking for five people. We are looking for more than five people. Oh, you are looking for more than five people. Yeah, we've advertised, in which field? we've yes. advertised it. So the, 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 what do you call it? The organizer here. Because we create employment. In, in which fields are we looking we, at? We're looking for so many fields. We're yeah. looking for... Um, uh, Media, we're media looking, campaign. Media campaign. We're looking for okay. executives. Okay. We're going to employ them. Okay. And pay them. So people are listening to us now. So we, this we, an we have applied those who want to be campaign directors. Okay. You're going to get a job. It doesn't necessarily mean that you have to be an APC member. Okay. We are employing you professionally wow. to come and work to as manage a, your to campaign. manage your campaign. Wow. So we are employing uh, campaign directors okay. in various communities. Security. We are in that, yeah, security as well. Security. Okay. Security as well. We are employing. Um, Coordinators, okay. For students, coordinators, we are employing um, national. Uh, what do you call it? There's a lot of them. I, I have okay. a list of so, it. so, it's so, so any, 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 any number that they can call, we want yes, to actually a, get those uh, people listen to us jobs. If you want to be part of a security detail, if you want to be a campaign coordinator, okay. an executive, any yeah, hotline. So we, are, we are looking for mm -hmm. uh, communication com committees we are forming Communic a committee so, okay, you can, so you need communicators to be communicators as well okay we need the manifesto committees we okay. need legal lawyers 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 okay. as well and you're going to pay these people yeah we're paying them there's you're money not, sitting down you're, you're not you're not going to work there mm -hmm. as an apc member okay you're going to work as, as a, a professional. professional i love that so we need media and policy and research committee okay we're looking for parliamentary committees okay and security committees right and the others are national student coordinators we are going to employ and national stakeholders coordinators national volunteers coordinators mm -hmm. national endorsement coordinators and national zungu coordinators we're going to employ a lot of people we're employing them professional o over five thousand people if you look matter. at what really we are ready to pay you have the we money back you to see pay all of i them. believe in an inclusive governance concept. i love that mm. and i don't think that one person has all that knowledge on wisdom the hotline they can call is zero five three one two eight four two 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 is that right i yes. just got this number yes zero five three one two eight four two 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 so if you're out there you're educated you want to enter me it doesn't matter you yeah. don't have to be a member of the you don't APC. have to be a member of APC. dr hassan ayaga says be a professional and come you'll you give you that employment that opportunity zero five three first one contract two is eight. one year first contract is one, one year. year yeah you get a one year contract one year contract right. from today if you come in yes, there if you apply okay zero five three one two eight four two 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 that's zero five three one two eight four two 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 wow wow okay 
the first lady. <laughs> and now you just look at that, what I just sent to you. That's it. Oh, let me see. It's gone off? No, it's gone off. Oh, oh sorry. sorry. Right, right. right yeah, this. Right. Read. Read from the top. Okay, the All People's Congress Party, led by a presidential candidate for the 2024 elections, Dr. Hassan Ayaga, is seeking for professional, okay, in the following field, and committees to apply and submit your CV. So, the communication field, well, um, that, that's a platform that you need to be on. National campaign, coordinators, fundraisers, election manifesto. We'll put this one out, and we just, you know, we just did that yeah. right here on the show. Yeah, so, so they can employed. call 0531 284 222. The man is creating employment. Go out there and just get it. As we go, it's now time for our mystery question, and you got to pick uh, one of these. And just read them out. You pick it for me? No, no, no. I'm just um, making sure that you, you, you pick it. What's the question, please? No, you read it out yourself. Oh, please. no, why? you want to read it and I'll give no, you an no, answer. No, How no. can I read a question? Give no, no, you have to read it out. It's for you. Oh, it's I a mystery question. Yeah, oh, yeah, okay. Right. So if you had to choose a woman of integrity, right. Ghana's president in 2028, who will it be? Who will and, it be? And why? Woman integrity? Yes. Wow. President Ghana, if you had to choose for a woman to lead the country in 2028, Dr. Ayariga, who will you go for? How many women are in the party? That's the question. How many women are in politics? Mm. But top of mind, which women do you admire? Do you feel that well? If given the chance, give us two names. No, if given the chance, the best woman is my, my wife. Your wife? Yes. Okay, so that's one. She will be the best person to lead because she, she's... She knows what I'm into, the policies I'm into, right. and everything. She will be number one. The second one. The will second be. one will be my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor Hassan Ayaga, <laughs> what is your worst fear? My worst or your fear. Greatest fear my greatest life? fear. Yes. My greatest fear mm. is after I've been president and built the institutions, and now sit down mm. and somebody is going to dismantle it. That's my greatest fear now. Mm. That when given the opportunity and I build a city, that is why I'm going for one term. Okay. So that if somebody messes it up, mm. I'm watching. I don't want to come back. <laughs> because I'm going to build Ghana to the extent. One term president. One term president. I don't need, I mean, I have mm. a lot of things I want to aspire to wow. be. I want to rule the world. One day when all is said and done, how do you want to be remembered? Me? Mm. As a guy who came and did what? Not as a guy who, as a one who brought Ghana together and built a better country. And, uh, why do I want to be remembered? I mm. want to be remembered that I've built institutions that are working today mm. and everybody's benefiting. That the Ghanaian will not be proud that there was a leader who transformed Ghana from crisis to heaven. Wow. There's a leader who brought all of us together, who believed in us. You see, we need a leader who believes in everybody and think that everybody has something. Nobody was born in the world to be useless. It's only you have to be able to... Mm bring the potential of that person out and that leader is and dr leader hassan, hassan Ayarga. Ayarga. your and favorite your favorite song will be what who's your favorite musician in ghana there are so many of them okay two of two. your favorite will be the top two yes i like their music pa, 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 oh, pa, Shatawali. Pa, Shatawali, okay know? and who? i like him for being yeah. who he is and then i like bean boy that's oh, Stone boy. The Stone boy, my neighbor they are all good guys they're all good guys are you given an opportunity to talk to Ghanaians? please one go, minute go ahead Fellow guardians, like my president would say, the time has come for all of us to listen to what we have. We have given opportunity to the NDC. They've done their best. Nobody can say they haven't. We've have given the opportunity to MPP too. They have also done their best. But yet we're crying. A lot of you are crying, saying you won't vote. You don't want to vote again. You're tired of Ghana, economic hardship, some of you, the nurses, are running out of this country. Some of the you, you want to leave this country. Because there's no hope. And there's no savior. I tell you today, do not run out of this country. Do not desert your nation. Do not stay in your comfort zone and say so you won't vote. Come out of your comfort zone. There's a leader who believes in all of you. The leader who will take you along. The hope of the future of Ghana. And the savior of Ghana is Hassan Ayaga and yourself. I am urging you to come join me. The wagon of development, the wagon of change, the wagon of transformation, the wagon of togetherness, the wagon of truth and transparency and accountability is where I sit, believing in you, 
that you and I can change this country together when we change our mindset, when we change our attitude, when we believe in ourselves. And that belief is the Ghana we all have. There is no any Ghana anywhere. If we cannot run and leave our country for others to manage, we have to stay and also build our own for others to also run to our country. Wow. I thank you, Bolare, wow. for the wow. opportunity. Thank you. Thank this, you. This is your campaign message already. I think you've shot your campaign video <laughs> right here. We'll charge you. It's fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> you look straight into the camera and you give Ghanaians that national address. Yes, and Doctor Hassan Ayaga. Thank you very much. Thank brother. you very much. David in Vienna is listening to us in uh, Vienna, Italy, and he says, "Can you ask Doctor Ayaga which city in Germany did he live in?" Cologne. Cologne. Okay. Yeah. So. We'll go out with you and we say happy Easter to you. Enjoy and your happy holidays Easter to every good and have a great time, sir. Thank it's you, been a pleasure God. hosting you on Ghana's number one personality show, Star yes, Chat. I'm grateful for that opportunity. Most welcome. And let me uh, thank all the right. producers, the presenters, and mm. everybody in Star FM. You're great. You're thank all you. great. Thank you, With sir. this opportunity, we can change Ghana. Thank you, sir. Let's continue to give you that opportunity That's and we'll right. change Ghana together. Right. You're part of the change. That's right. right. Into the future I'm not going to leave you at the end of the day. Give me your love, I'm not going to leave you. You should give us a dance. You should give us a dance. Yeah, yeah. Me give her something with the sweet and ginger. She never get sick, mad and sick. Cause she call me every man. He say she tired of this. All of you have a wonderful time. Enjoy the holidays. We're out.